Hey what's up guys, Accounts Vision here. In this video we're going to go over books of prime entry. Books of prime entry are basically summarized transactions that will be put into the books. The transactions will normally have a date and the details. So it is also important to note that the books of prime entry are not double entry bookkeeping. I'll explain that as we go on. The main books of prime entries that you'll see are sales journal, also known as sales daybook. Next we have sales returns journal which is an opposite to sales journal. Next we have purchases journal also known as purchases daybook, purchases returns, cash book and the general journal. But let's first start off with the sales journal. For the sales journal also known as sales daybook it will record transactions that involve goods that are sold on credit. These transactions are summarized which will then be put into the sales journal and once we've got all the summarized information into this book we can then put them into the two ledgers. One will be the sales ledger where it will have information on our customers also known as trade receivables and the general ledger where it will contain different accounts for uh, income, expenses and other accounts. So for sales ledger we're going to have to debit trade receivables and credit sales account in the general ledger. If you want to look at this for a table for the sales daybook or sales journal we'll have a date, different customers name, invoice numbers and the total. For a thousand pounds you see here will be debited in the trade receivables and credited in the sales account. Next we have sales returns journal. They record transactions where goods are returned by our customers. These transactions are then summarized which will then be put into the sales returns journal. All these summarized informations will then be put into the two ledgers. One will be the general ledger and the other will be the sales ledger. For the general ledger we're going to have to debit sales returns account and we're going to have to credit trade receivables account in our sales ledger. If you want to look at this for a table then here it is. This is from the sales returns journal. So basically we're going to have dates for details of our customers and this time we're going to have a credit note and the total you see here will be debited in the sales returns account and credited in our trade receivables account. For the purchases journal it's going to record different transactions where goods are bought on credit. These transactions are going to be summarized which will then be put into the purchases journal and by having all this information in that book we're going to be able to do the two ledgers. One will be the general ledger and the other will be the payables ledger. For general ledger we're going to have to debit purchases account and for the payables ledger we're going to have to credit trade payables. If you want to look at this as a table here it is that's going to be from the purchases journal. We're going to have a date, suppliers details, invoice number and the total and again for total you see here will be put into the purchases account and the payables account. Next we have purchases returns journal. They record a goods that are returned to our suppliers. These transactions are going to be summarized which will then be put into our purchases returns journal and by having all the information we're going to be able to put them into our two ledgers. One will be the payables ledger and the other will be the general ledger. For a payables ledger we're going to have to debit trade payables and for the general ledger we're going to have to credit purchases returns account. If you want to look at this as a data here it is that's going to be from the purchases returns journal. Here we're going to have a date, suppliers details, this time we're going to have a credit note and the total and the total again as mentioned you see here will be put into our two ledgers. Here we have cash book on the left side we'll have a debit it basically recalls money coming in which is known as receipts and we can receive money by through by cash or bank transfer or by check and on the, this side it recalls the two ledgers one will be the sales ledger where we receive money from our customers and the general ledger where it could be receiving from rent money from rent or cash sales on the right side we'll have a credit and that's basically us paying money um, through by check, cash or bank transfer and they normally record the two ledgers. One will be a general ledger where we could be paying our workers through wages or a purchases ledger where we pay our suppliers. And finally we have a general journal 
This basically records non-regular transactions like opening entries of a business or purchase or sale of an asset. So once these transactions are summarized, it's going to be put into the general journal, which will then help us to do the two ledgers, which will involve double entry bookkeeping. So let's say a business or someone invested £10,000 in our business. Here's the date on when this occurred. We're going to write the details. So in this case, we're going to have an account for cash and capital. We're going to debit cash and credit capital. And then once we've done that, we're going to total both sides and both sides will always equal. And this table here relates to this part of a diagram there. Here I found a perfect summary for you guys to look at. Here basically on the top it says there's going to be different transactions of a business and these transactions will then be classified and the ones that are the same will be put together. So here you can see they split different transactions into different accounts. So for example here we have a credit sales and that will be put into the sales daybook and you can see they've done the same for the other transactions and once we've done all the books or prime entries we can then put them into the double entry accounts with various ledgers and these ledgers can be sales ledger, purchases ledger and the general ledger. And that's pretty much what books or prime entries are and if you found this video useful give it a like and be sure to subscribe to watch more videos like this every week. Thank you for watching.